I'm going to speak a little bit more about screens, uh, but specifically about screens in the public space. Okay, we're going to go back in 1955 at the Denise René Gallery, the famous Denise René Gallery of Kinetic Art in Paris. So, um, in 1955, Vasarelli, in the Manifesto Jaune, was writing, we are on the age of a new epoch, the era of projection on flat and volumetric screens during day and night has begun. So um, now in 2018, in Paris, we have EP7. EP7 is a free floor building uh, and the facade is covered by huge monumental LED screen displaying digital art in the public space. So we can see that we can like actually make a new way and create a new way to display digital art and to get in touch more uh, with people. And that, ha that is very important um, because when you get to people, you can get into the market also. And this is a key point for us. So um, EP7, it's a connected architecture. We can do interactive art. We can do generative artworks. We can display photography. We can display 3D uh, motions design and so forth and so on. Uh, the facade is covered by 133 square meters of monumental LED screen and it's uh, an open air uh, art gallery. So uh, the idea uh, of EP7 was to invest underused spaces in the city to display art. So uh, that's in total uh, in this facade, four millions of LED screen. The video is th doesn't work, I don't know if you can. So uh, that's in total four millions of LEDs exhibiting art in the public space from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. So in total, it's 19 hours per day of art in the city of Paris. It's a quite new paradigm to exhibit art. Um, the EP7 is located in the 13th district where, uh, and we have one of the larger open air street art museum. Because what we can see here, the video doesn't work. Uh, what we can see here, it's an open air street art museum. And um, there is a mix uh, between street art and digital art at this point. And this is a very important also key thing to understand a new way to implement something for the digital art market. So, yeah, we are merging urban art with digital art. And um, because, like, in the 13th arrondissement, you have the biggest, the larger um, territory uh, displaying digital art in the open air. Here you can see a piece of Obey, for example, but we have many, many of them. And EP7 is actually a continuum of this open air gallery. So um, I like to compare uh, street art with digital art. I'm mixing the both all the time in my work also. Because like when you go back like 15 years ago, uh, everybody when we were exhibiting street art, everybody was wondering if there is art and if they should buy it. And I think we, are actually in the same paradigm for digital art now. So we need to go public. We really need to go public as street art did it 15 years ago. Because now we have a real marketplace for street art and investors are following the market and investing into street art. But because street art went public. And with the digital art, that needs to be the same case. 
So be disruptive and show technology and architecture as the tool to convey art. Because most of the people, uh, when they see screens on the street, they think automatically it's an advertisement. But actually, we need to disrupt this. When you see something, a screen in the city, you don't need to think that it's automatically an advertisement. And we need to bid for this, really. So, our next step for AP7, our working progress. We opened at AP7 this year in March, so it's a quite new project and we are running it. We are really happy to be here in Ars Electronica and have an exhibition space at the gallery space here in Ars. So, our next step is going to be to go on the market and obviously work with um, free um, like link the free buildings uh, in the 13th district of Paris because EP7 is located in between Station F and BNF. BNF is the National French Library. So um, this is very important. This location is very important for us. The National Library is the head of the research in terms of digitalizing, archiving, and preserving art, gaming, documents, app, everything. So it's a key infrastructure for us to work with them. And um, at the other side, we have the Station F. Um, Station F, it's an incubating company they co and um, it's the biggest incubator uh, in the world actually. Xavier Niel founded it and inside Station F there are really good startups working in like decentralized system as blockchain or maybe uh, some also project with artistic domains and so forth and so on. So what we tend to do with Station F and the French National Library is to go forward with this EP7 project and this public uh, space displaying of art and create a decentralized system in order to sell our artists that we are like democratizing now uh, in, in, the, in the city. So it's actually uh, working on a new platform uh, allowing uh, cultural minister and also private collectors to collect the digital art. This is very important. There is also like a big work to do with uh, the cultural minister because um, they don't know how to buy digital art. We have such great artists in France and in other countries and uh, our governments don't know how to preserve and they don't know how to buy digital art for their own like national collection. So this is also something that we can, like we are working on. So thank you very much. That was my presentation. And we are obviously, we are new, so we are looking for partners and investors. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.